Hello, sweet friends. It is Sunday. Um, you're watching this hopefully on Monday, the 30th of March. Can you believe the month is almost over? Wow. Okay, I hope you had a great spring break. Um, I had a pretty quiet one, kind of sat around the house. I'm missing you guys. Something awful, though. This is not nearly as much fun as actually seeing all of you. However, we have finished our novel. What a nice way to go into spring break, having finished a book. Yay! And we finished the book, and I don't want you guys to write a book report. I think it's boring. Let's not do it. Here's why not. Um, what's a book report? It's a summary. You're telling me what you've already read. Well, I read the book too. I don't want to get an overview of the novel. It's boring. Also, it's a useless skill. You learned how to summarize back in second grade. You can do that. I know you can. I'm very proud of you. Good work. But let's move into the harder stuff, okay? And that basically looks like literature analysis or um, making connections. So when we start looking at um, education, we talk about the stuff that everybody learns how to do, right? That basic stuff like retelling, summarizing, giving me an overview. That's little kid stuff. As we start going up that ladder of things you've learned, we start forcing you to do harder stuff. Creative thinking, connection building, relationship descriptions, um, critical thinking, problem solving. This is all real world stuff because as with literature analysis, remember analysis means to show the connections and find the connections between things. You're going to do that in the real world way more often than you're going to have to summarize a book. Okay. Now I get that it's probably not likely that you're going to be given a novel tomorrow out on the street, working whatever job you have, told to read it and then um, analyze it, which we are going to be given are, um, well, let's look at the real world problems right now. You've been reading all of this news. Um, you've been trying to make good choices. Um, you're staying home. You're not getting sick. And yet you realize, you really can't handle being inside anymore. You've gathered all that information. You want to go walk around the park. Is that safe? You're going to make a, a real world problem solving decision there based on the connections you've made between multiple sources of information. It's, you know, it's real world stuff. So first of all, please don't freak out. I can already tell. I can hear you. Stella, take a deep breath. Seriously, Stella, Adam, quit rolling your eyes. Susan, deep breathing, deep breathing. That's, that's my girl. All right, Ante, you're probably watching this at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Alan, give me a nod. Nice, thanks, appreciate that. Amanda, you with us? Okay, you freaking out? Don't don't freak. You don't, you don't need to freak out. It, it's okay, yeah, no freaking. All right, Antonio, how, how's it going, buddy? You safe over there? Did you get home? Hope you got home. Okay, all right, that's my crew. Wait, Destiny. Destiny, are you freaking out, Destiny? Are you freaking out more than everybody else? Stop that. Okay, this is not an essay. I'm not making you write an essay. I'll say it again. We're not writing an essay. See? See, there's no reason to freak out. Here's what we're doing instead. Whee! Okay, item one. You're going to use your chart. Remember how we've been reading this book? And I constantly was like, hey, get out that chart that's under resources on Google Classroom. It's still there. It's under resources, Google Classroom. So go Google Classroom, go to our class, go to classwork, resources, there it is. Bada bing. Okay, you have been charting characters, symbols, and themes. Sometimes this was something like just watching how Garrett goes from being an average scaredy cat 10 year old to being kind of a problem solver to being pretty cool to being pretty self-sufficient and problem solving, to becoming a water zombie, to being ready to let his sister kill him. You could track a lot, okay? Maybe you tracked how a symbol came through the novel, say like a gun. At the beginning of the novel, it's this crazy thing that the McCrackens have. And by the end of the book, holy cap, we've, we've killed people. Like good grief, we have shot multiple people. Um, or maybe you looked at a theme over the novel, like survival. It's this, mm, sorry, I'm making weird noises and making my voice crack. <clears throat> survival is this joke. You know, there's the neighbor that, that's totally ready to survive. They've got to <coughs> hide out in the wood 
and they built a 12-foot security fence. And by the end of the book, the survival looks nothing like that. We get tracked the way that theme is talked about. Now, here's the deal. I get that things didn't quite go even close to the way this school year was supposed to at this time of year. Therefore, you don't actually have access to the novel unless you're cool and you went and bought it. I'm not saying you have to, okay? I repeat, you do not have to buy a copy of the book. In your chart, I ask for page numbers and direct quotes. You don't have to do that anymore. That's, that was normal life before coronavirus made everything awful. Okay, so right now you can summarize. You can give me some basic information there. You don't have to have page numbers. You don't have to have direct quotes. But you need to be able to point out that at the beginning of the novel, water zombies were an unknown thing, and by the end, everybody's a water zombie. Okay, you need to know how that changes. And you need to pick out specific points. Like for water zombies, you need to talk about that blonde kid that licks Alyssa's spit off of his hand or um, the gal who's willing to prostitute herself to get water or to the end there where Jackie's ready to run through fire to get to the lake. Okay, You need to be able to track major things that have happened. I know you don't need page numbers, but you need that. Okay, So that's kind of using the chart. And from that, you're going to start making some general notes. Okay, um, We're going to call this rough drafting, but it's not an essay. Okay. Maybe you're going to hang out in a Google Meet with a partner. Maybe you're going to come hang out with me. I have office hours. You, you could brainstorm with me. Um, you can call me. You could text me. We could email. We can Google. I'll, I'll FaceTime with you even. Okay. We're going to come up with some ideas. What of that is speaks to you the strongest? Okay. And then we're going to learn how to make a YouTube video. And not just a dumb YouTube video of people licking toilet seats or whatever. We're doing something good. We're going to do literature analysis in a vlog. I know, we don't really call it that anymore. That was a thing back when I was in college. But we're going to make a YouTube video. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be lit analysis. I'm excited about it. You should be too. So to prep us for that, here's what we're doing today. Item one, discussion post. So go back to Google Classroom where you found the link for this video. And right under that is your discussion post. Okay. You're going to answer which theme or character or symbol was the most powerful to you in this story. Why? Okay. You will see I have already posted my answer. Well, I need, I need to write it here, but I've got it in my brain, and I'll go post it for you guys. Um, and then um, when you're ready to uh, start replying to people, it'd be really cool if you would give some thoughts to some classmates. Obviously, we can't do that until everybody posts, so don't stress about it. But I would like you to see what people are saying. Don't forget, posting, discussion, thinking about which off that chart's most powerful to you. And because we're talking about the chart, that's right, we need to finish it. It is due. You need to have covered some information. You need to have some things written down. Some of you have been slacking. I see you. Some of you have deleted the file. You need to undo that and fix it. Please. It's the major grade. Okay. Discussion post, finish your chart for your assignment, be awesome, just in general. If you're freaking out, call me. Seriously. Jeez, stop freaking out. I can see you. Okay, I love you. Bye.